morning everybody, Fat Steve Spiceheads and we're starting off with a mandatory tram shot. Da -da, da -da. Oh, two little doggies. I've just made it down as far as the gin. Um, it's quite dark, clouds, overcast again, but it's not that cold, it's not too bad. I've got my big coat on. Tide's way out, looks like it's gone out because there's nice big puddles. We should have the tower in the distance if it can see that far. Look at these derelict hotels, what a shame. Blackpool Promenade, folks. Iceland up on the ball delivering. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. I never know. Never know. Right, just coming up by the Grand. I'm going to leave it there. Oh no, I'll go down here. You see what I mean? Whoa, look at that. Can we get off? No. <laughs> so this is Blackpool's version of Cottagers Cove. But they're not normally here in the day, it's normally the night, so we wouldn't come down here at night, I don't think. I think Steve on Walk on the Wild Side may have done once, but he had something with him. There's little flies hitting me now. Can we get off at this one? We can, but we'd have to double back. Well, we'll keep going for now, see how we go on. I bet we end up stuck. So this is the central promenade walkway oh we've got one here we can get down I think if I don't hit nothing duh. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of music a song that will last for a thousand years <laughs> Raindrops and roses and warm woolen mittens Noodles and strudels and oodles and kittens These are a few of my favourite things Oh, he's cocked that up on me Yeah Anyway, folks what are we going to do about Maria? I mean, I mean, we just can't leave her doing these silly things. Bringing these children up in the way that everybody in the world wanted to be brought up. <laughs> By a beautiful young lady, governess, who looks after you, cares for you, lets you play, lets you do the things that you need to learn to grow up. In the real days, in the real days when girls played with dolls. Hey, how about that? And boys played with toy soldiers and guns. And they knew who they were. And they knew what they were. Hey, God, I miss them days. Crazy. Man out with a nice little doggy here. A lucky little. Where's the, where's the over hundred? That was one of them. Where's, where's the over hundred Dalmatians? So he's on a crazy one this morning. We can see here that good job that ramp I got to wasn't like that because there's some are closed off. I bet the buildings are structurally unsafe or something. In fact, the contractor's wagons there. My gift is my song. And this one's for you And you can do everything and This is my song <laughs> Maybe quite simple But now that it's done I hope you don't mind I hope you don't mind 
I just forgot the words. <laughs> Beach Patrol Headquarters. Oh, that pier and that tower is getting closer and closer. The road goes narrow here. I just have to light my fag. <laughs> oh, that's better. So I said I think it's probably about half seven. I don't know what we're going to find in town today. The seagulls are chirping. The tide's just lapping the end of the North Pier. There we've got the uh, the Metropole, the Tower and the cenotaph all in shot so I'll leave it there till I get down by the carpet I'll catch you in a minute well it's 7.47 somebody was asking about the flag I can see it and it's uh, a union flag at least it's not an LGBT flag quite over there as we come on to Church Street Viva Diner, Viva Diner. Egg Samuels is shut yet. We'll be hopping home now, I don't think, except Costa. Preston Buzz is sat waiting. Cookies is just set. It's that, it's that lovely young lady setting up outside Cookies again. <laughs> B&M's got lights on. I'll have to go in there. I can get my drink soon. Um, one or two coming up and down here. And the scaffolding doesn't appear to have changed much this morning. I think my friend with the little dog is here. Hiya kiddo. How you doing? Are you alright darling? Ooh, little grouser. Right, we're going to park up and dive in Costa. Catch you all soon, Fat Steve Spicer. About, uh, yeah, so there I'm sat having my costume. We've got the tower shop, we've got the dome at the Grand that's due to go soon. That's what they're taking off. But I think they're putting a new one on. We've got um, delivery van. Here's my costa. Oh, and a bit later, um, let's just spin it round. I've had lots of you asking me. Uh, how you can buy me a coffee and I found out now and a little bit later today I'll explain mm. all you have to do is get the Costa app and on the Costa app you open it and you can send a coffee via email so that's quite uh, good I'll go through that and show you how to do it later um, but for now I want a bit of peace I'm sat here it's quiet nobody down here hardly Lind Linda's here, and Linda and Reggie the dog's here. <laughs> so here we've got this Costa app, and uh, we scroll up, and there we have gift a coffee. <laughs> and that's my carers calling me to make sure I'm alive, I'll be back in a minute. And still at Costa, and take three how to send me a coffee if you want to send me a coffee on my phone here we've got an app a Costa app click that and we get to this page scroll up give the gift of coffee email a gift card so we click that bit and there we have everyday gift card one and two click that and you can give £10, 20 30 50 or 75 I don't want anything like that. Other, I don't know if that means you can put a smaller amount in. And all you do, you put your friend's email address in twice. You send a little message. And then you send that to the basket. And it sends me a gift card to get a Costa. 
so that's the way if you want to send me a costa you can do i'll um put the email address will be over this little video somewhere so for now it's fat steve spice edge showing you how you can send me a costa like so many of you keep asking catch you later well it's 904 st john square there's the church folks the fountains are running the buzzes are running there's people up cleaning the front of winter gardens again uh, as we come down the street morning chuck as we come down the street there's a few people about not a great deal the uh, councilman's painting the benches Vanishing the benches to my left. There's a huddle of people in the doorway outside here doing what they do. As we come down, I'll move in and I don't catch my friends. Scaffoldings still up there's plenty outside Costa they're extending the scaffolding now to the main part of um, of the ground so I'll leave you there I'm gonna have my second Costa catch you later so that's my second Costa catch you all later see you Phil see you man Oh, we've got another van coming up here. Let's go around this. Got a G4S delivery. Let's see if we can squeeze down here. We've started the scaffolding now around the side of the ground, further round. Right. So, let's we'll see what's happening down here. The little food shop's nearly open, vape shop's nearly open. The girls are not here yet, and the new palm brokers is open. Bob and Bert's, that was open early. And I've just tried to show you how to use the Costa app, because uh, I still get, keep getting loads of people asking how they can buy me a coffee. Um, I'll probably film it again when I get home, because I don't know if it turned out right or not. It's quiet down this end of Victoria Street this morning. I think I've, yeah, I've already been on the prom early on. I'm not sure where I went. I can't remember. Amusements is open. Greedy pig shot. No smell. That's good. Up the tower as I come down the back. And see if there's anything happening down here. We've got three guys. At the back of the tower, the staff entrance. A couple of my mates here at uh, the front of Primark. Getting ready for a busy day, boys. How's it going, mate? Yeah, ready for another day. Yeah. So I've got down here. I'm outside the tower dungeon, and uh, it's not open yet. And look at this, folks. The videos are working. I think. <laughs> shoes on again after 10 o'clock no fake homeless junkie sat on the strange let's have a look at Mackie D's so somehow the message might be getting across I don't know if it's getting across to the staff around here that are moving them on or whether it's getting across to the fake homeless um, I don't think it's anything to do with me but it could be So there's nobody outside here. So let's head up the other side. In fact, I'll head round to the prom. It's Thursday. Quite quiet. These little stalls are not open yet. Midweek.
<laughs> Nobody sat outside the crack den toilets over there. Oh, I can smell them onions now. And as usual, this is one of the first ones to open, folks. I shop, tables out, get those hot dogs broiling, <laughs> get those burgers frying. Oh, where's that from? Oh, that's from a film called. Ooh. Right, Cheers, man. I forgot what it's called. Something about Mars. Martian Chronicles, I think. Get those hot dogs broiling, get those burgers frying. We're just getting ready outside here to open up this morning so you can all go in and get on them slots. Quite a bit of traffic about. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, we've got uh, a stop and go sign on the promenade, folks. <laughs> stop and go on the prom. Do they call them lollipop men? No, they're not lollipop men. I don't know what they're called. So the stop and goes here while they're working on the uh, putting the illuminations up, I think. Apart from that, it's pretty dead down here. Nothing much else going on. Nice to see this department of the council working, grafting, health and safety line, doing the job safely, council workers keeping us all safe while they do the job, nothing else happening down here, I'll shoot down a bit. So the rain's held off for now, it's quite cloudy and overcast. Um, well, not many people here. Thursday morning blues. So the staff here at Two Swords getting ready, getting ready for the big rush. <laughs> really quiet around here today. Mmm, how's it options? So them fake homeless will be coming out of there soon and finding the pitches all over town to sit and beg. Bit of 50 to 150 pounds a day for heroin on top of the universal credit. So it's 9.42, I'm outside the new central car park and I've just realised there's entrances and exits here as well, I didn't know that. And uh, we've got Donna's Dream House again, now I asked last week I think if anybody knew if it was still going, if it was still doing what it used to do. Um, it used to uh, take, I think it used to take terminally ill children and give them a break, a bit of respite I think. It's had a couple of charity shops down the street there which closed I think during Covid. So I don't know if it's still going or not. But somebody just preparing down here to go out and start tapping somewhere. So this used to be a very successful charity. God. Um, it's had like a little park in the back here. Don't think we can see it. 
So, what happened? What happened? I said, I'm pretty sure that Covid killed the charity shops. Dollar Street House, thank you for your support. So we've got the old Brunswick there, I don't know if that's still open. I'm not sure if that's the one that got busted for having a cannabis grow. Um, I don't know there was one around here somewhere. I don't know which one. Always good idea. <laughs> Where are we? Don't know. From Terraced Street, off Central Drive to the west. In fact, looking at it, oh Christ, this is one way. In fact, looking at it, let's just try and squeeze on here. In fact, looking at it, I think it was that one. Down there, that was the cannabis grow. Not 100% sure, if anybody knows, just let me know. I don't want to accuse a club of that if they haven't done it. Well, uh, it wouldn't have been the club anyway. It would have been whoever was renting it. Yeah, that's all bricked up now and sealed off. Uh, and that's on the edge of Princess Street, near the... Uh, where the dog track used to be so let's flick up here and see if we can get some breakfast oh he's on a one-way street again a nice shot of the tower down there it's raining cats and dogs folks i said this a lot there's a poogle don't stand in the poogle. So let's see if this little cafe's open. I can get something to eat. So I'm just down now at uh, the Revo Bar and Bistro. See if he's open. On the table. So I'm in the Revo bar and we've, we've got a new member of staff called Poppy. What a lovely little doggy that is. Oh, it's even got a little lead. A little pink lead. What a lovely little girl that is. Eh? So I've come to the Revo bar and you can sit and have a coffee with Poppy. That rhymes, doesn't it? Coffee with Poppy. Catch you all later. Fat Steve Spice at the Revo bar. Central Drive. See you later, folks. So, as usual, we'll have a little look in Trinity Hospice, Hospice Care, the Blackpool Filed and Wire. Uh, there's the phone number, we're on Central Drive. And what a display today! Look at this, folks. Absolute gorgeous vases. I'll try and find out how much they are in a minute. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I think that's a stand for one of them. So they're really, really ornate, beautiful Chinese vases. Nice picture if you're into flowers. Games galore. Gee, I remember when I was a kid and we used to play Scrabble and Ludo, Kaplunk. What was the other one? There were another one that. You built a contraption and it, a little ball used to roll along. Some more furniture in there, some more teddies in there. Mmm, very nice. I'll have a look in a minute. And sewing machines again. <laughs> it's not singing. It says singer, but it's not singing. Are they singer? I don't know. We were strolling along. At Trinity Hospice. So, crossing, Central Drive, young lad on a, dressed in black on a black push bike, I wonder what he's doing, he looks a bit younger actually, but you never know. So I'll take a look round here and I'll be back in a minute. Got 
a little doggy guarding the door. Again, lots of nice ladies' clothes. Nice pair of black boots there for you girls. Well, baby chair. Oh, them are nice. Oh, I like them. You think they'll suit me? They could suit me then. They could. I don't think I'd get them on though, and I certainly wouldn't be able to walk in them. <laughs> Little pair of black trainers. Got the uh, statues again that I liked last time I were in. Some men's clothes here. Ironing board. Men's shoes. Some more nice statues that I like. I think that's David. Not sure. Got a wheelchair. A fan. Oh, here's the big stuff. Nice chest of drawers. Some, uh, some big cots. Now that's an automatic moving cot. Look at it move on its own. That's amazing, isn't it? Fantastic. Nice big pram. Some more of them teddies that somebody gave me. Different ones. I've got the one in. I've not got that one, and I've not got that one. I don't know how much they are. Oh, there's another one there. Good morning, darling. Hey, Chuck. Lots of interesting stuff. Now look at this for a big teddy. He'd be more comfortable in bed than one of my dolls. Rabbit. A couple of little coffee machines. Another little doggy. <laughs> DVDs. So look at that, folks. Got a boomerang. A big fat man. And three fat ladies up there. <laughs> Welcome to Blackpool, folks. Three fat ladies, fat man. And a boomerang. That's a weird one. So I'm back outside, and apparently, these vases are genuine Chinese vases. Probably the dearest thing I've ever seen in a charity shop, and they're £250. And that isn't a stand, it's actually a stool. That is quite weird. So if you've got a few spare quid and you want to help people, instead of giving it to junkies sat on the street corner, come and buy something from a real charity, genuine quality Chinese or Japanese, I don't know, vases. That's at the Trinity Hospice Shop on Central Drive in beautiful downtown Blackpool. Catch you later, folks. So I'm just down by King Edward VII on Central Drive. As we approach, I've got the tower in the distance. These cars still parked along here. I don't know how to get away with it. The old joke shop closed up. Gemini blinds still open. Stevonia, a bit early yet. Have we got a coach? No. Manchester coach and Birmingham coach or whatever they are must have gone. I don't know what times they are. Cost cutter on the corner. One of the few little shops down this end of Central. The castle, pub I've never been in. Tower in the distance. Crack them toilets. It's fenced off now. <laughs> I think you have to go through some sort of turnstile. Now to get in. So the casino's not open. 
Oh yeah, it is. No staff outside for a change. There's some of the grumpiest security I've ever come across. Mackie D's! And have we got somebody outside? No, I don't think we have again. They're getting the message, folks. They're getting a message. I don't know if it's my message. I don't know if it's the bid warden's message. Sorry, Chuck. <laughs> You're trying to dance. Try, yeah, trying to dance. So, the test is shoes on. Yeah, nobody. Look at that, folks. Look how clean that is. It's got some kids here. We have to go high a little bit. So, nobody outside TK Maxx, nobody over by Poundland or there, nobody outside shoes on. That's mental. That's amazing. What is it? Is it because it's Thursday? Do, do junkies not come out and sit and beg on Thursday? Have they got the pip, do you think? I'm a little school party here to the left. Little toddlers waiting to go in the tower. Waiting to go in the tower. <laughs> oh, the greedy pigs are open now. Should I go in and have a go at them about that smell? No. No. So. Back up Victoria, back to Costa, for my third brew, it must be paid out, for my third brew, parcel of force delivery, Starbucks is open, no, no tables outside, souvenirs, you dropped your phony dog turd, what phony dog turd, I did that the other day, uh, I don't know, I can't remember. Nobody outside Bob and Bert's. Let's see if everything's open up here yet. The girls are all set up. Morning girls. Morning. Looking nice. You wasn't here when I passed early on. <laughs> the scaffolding's coming right down here, is it? Yeah. I'll just knock it off a minute. So, it's just half ten. I don't know the cost with my new app. <laughs> and thank you to the subscribers that have sent sent me a cost of my email and I haven't even um, said much about it yet. And seagulls are dive bombing the food again. We've seen quite a few lose food this morning but I never get to never never end up filming it for some reason. Here's the uh, bazooka man, you alright man? Here's the girls. Let's just knock it off while I say hello. So I'm just been chatting to the Jehovah's Witnesses. Let's see what's on in here this morning. <laughs> We've got a uh, lady on the door and the boys are up there doing a grand job. What's on? Uh, Coffee, Coffee morning? Yeah, Winter Gardens Club? Winter Gardens Club? Trust. Trust? Right, cheers Chuck, see you later. So. I think it's Coffee morning again here. Blackpool Church, fountains are going. A few of the local likely suspects here for this coffee morning let's just try and get round hiya kiddo have a see what's on in here coffee morning right great so the fountains are going listen 
so I'm heading back home now to edit what I've got this morning I might be out again later I don't know um, I've just got to mention about what happened yesterday when uh, the uh, Iveco worker was in the ambulance and I was filming that little section yesterday You all know um, the chicken barbecue here. I probably visit there five times a week. Probably spend 25 or 30 pound a week in there. And while I was filming the issues yesterday, one of the staff came out and had a go at me for filming, which I don't get when I've promoted that business for a long long time and it's a shame I don't know who the manager is um, but in future until somebody apologizes to me I'm going to try and avoid filming it all I can and I'll tell everybody even though it's so busy and so good it's food hygiene rating is only a one now I've never had anything wrong there, I don't know anybody's had anything wrong there but when a food establishment has a hygiene rating of one, well, that's not very good. So that's all I'm going to say about it. So I'm on the end of Abingdon Street, the Winter Garden's that way, Talbot Road there. And a lot of you keep asking about hiring a scooter and I keep telling you SMS Mobility Versus phone number 07753 415845 This is a friend of mine called Sam and um, he has scooter sales and scooter hire So there's his price list if you want to freeze it and have a look in your own time so Sam sits there he's gone outside <laughs> so he's got mobility and disability equipment little tool shed <laughs> so these are mostly the uh, scooters for sale I think wheelchairs Spare wheels, spare tyres, spare inner tubes. A lot of his hire fleets out today. But it's a cracking little shop. Really nice guy. And uh, he'll look after you. So this is SMS Mobility. Just want to look out the window. Across from Easterly. So we've got Easterly, Animal Sanctuary over the road and Cash Trousers. Um, that's the uh, phone shop where the guy got attacked a few weeks ago. Bright Barbers, Zilch and the PDSA. So, if you want to hire a scooter in Blackpool, that's the place to come. Pat Steve, Spice Edge, catch you all later. So I'm just at the end of um, Talbot. Sorry man, you're right man. And uh, there's a police car over there. I don't know what it's doing, where it's gone. It's been quite a decent morning. I don't know if I need to come out this afternoon or not. So, I don't know if that's in the Romanian shop or if he's over here at Home Bargains. We don't know. Not so. Can you make corner? We'll have a little ride round. You are Dean? Yeah, I'm like you. I'm like you. Got a fakey up there, so we'll avoid that one. No change, no money. Can't afford to get neither than the today. Gonna to nip to uh, Iceland. Get some Pepsi Max. And I need 
filters, rizzlers, and lighters while I'm here. So I'm just, I sometimes go to Joe Barlow and sometimes here, it's just pound plus, opposite Iceland. I'll be back when I've got what I need. So I've got my filters, my lighters, and uh, my Pepsi Max. And apparently there's somebody outside home bargains covered in blood. Oh, hey man! There's a, a few local suspects here. Let's just move out of the way. I can't get round with this van. Alright, man. I haven't got So I can't see who it is or what it is. There's a police that's possibly what the police car was here for. So I'll leave it there for now. I don't want to film the staff. So we're at, we're on the police car chase. See you later. A van chase now. Um, that's just come screaming down Talbot and gone up Abidon. So it's all go this morning. Can't get across the road. There's my little mate that I had a copy with earlier. Looking that way. Hi, Chop. So we're heading down. Somewhere around here. He's coming back up here now. So we'll spin around and try again. So it's all go this morning, folks. It's all go this morning. Which way did it go? That way. No, it's come back down. It's one way system. Yeah, no, it's come back down. It come back, but I've lost him. Right, I've lost him for now. I'll leave it there. It's Fat Steve Spice heads. So, police are all over looking for whatever's happened. I can't find out. I'm just stood chatting to one of my subscribers. He's over here on holiday from Belfast. And, uh, it's quite busy this morning. I'm going to head down to Talbot Square, see if I can see what's going on. See you all soon. So I'm here. There's officers and bid wardens. They've obviously found who they're looking for. I don't know if he's a victim or a suspect. So I'm going to stay back, I'm going to creep up a little bit and do a little short. So we'll do a little short. So there's been sirens blaring for ages all over town. I've been chasing a few police vans. We've got a male here being searched, I think. So there's a couple of bed wardens and two police officers. I'm just stopped at the side of the police van that's still got lights going. If I get round here then I don't film the bid officers too much. I'll be back in a minute. So I'm just outside my friend's shop icons. We've got a male being searched and detained. Police van's been racing all round town. There's a couple of bid wardens here. Um, the bid wardens are moving away now. Thanks. So I don't know what he's suspected of. I said everybody in his cat's been running around town looking for this guy for the last 10 15 minutes. If you watch the full video um, later, you will see that. So for now, I've only got 60 seconds on this short. It's about Steve Spicehead in beautiful downtown Blackpool with another detention and search. Catch you all later, folks. 
So I'm on the phone. This guy's detained now, sat in the back of the van. He's behaving, he's complying. So I'm going to leave it there and try and get the money shot when it happens. For now, Pat Steve in town, in beautiful downtown Blackpool, just dealing with the issues that we all have to see and witness every day in this crazy town. So he's in the cage, we've got the money shot. So we've got two two brave officers doing the job they've left him uncuffed I think because of his injuries thank you man um, doing the job keeping the town safe keeping us all safe so thank you for that folks thank you I say thank you to Blackpool Police for doing the job it's so great to see them Keeping us safe. Catch you all later. Fat Steve Spice Heads. So I got it. <laughs> I'm heading home now to get as much as I can of that uploaded. I should have a short of the money shot. Um, hey Chuck, you alright? Just bear with me a sec. So I got the money shot. <laughs> After chasing the police cars all over town I'm just heading back up now I don't know if I'm going to make it for 12 if I don't make it for 12 then I don't think I can get the video out today it'll probably be tomorrow and if I do come out again later that'll be tomorrow I'm not today so I'm just heading up the north end of Abingdon I'll pull in to let this car pass. So, I'm just coming up to the library, which I intended filming today and I haven't had chance, it's been that mad busy. So for now, it's Fat Steve, outside Blackpool Council's Central Library. Quite a mad morning. I'll catch you all later, keep safe everybody.